climb the credits? That's genius! I'm not reading a single word! Remember, to live is to suffer. To survive is to find. Some meaning is in the suffering. The end. Yeah, man! And now, we should watch a speedrun, shouldn't we? Shouldn't we watch a speedrun? Maybe, let's just take a look at it, right? Let's just take a, let's just take a peek at it. I mean, it can't be that fast, can it? Like, I was pretty quick. All things considered, I feel like I did well. It can't be that much faster than me. All right, this is the current world record for a difficult game about climbing. 1031, it happened today. And there's something called a pillar skip, and this is by Clark. Okay? I feel like with all my current knowledge, I'd be able to do this first section a lot faster. What? Wow, wow, wow. Swinging to get higher heights. That's crazy. That's that's such a huge skip if you don't know. That skips like almost the entire beginning section. There's seven different levels. That's the first level. You just skip the whole fucking thing. That's crazy. This part's relatively easy. Relatively, I say. And then, yeah, once you hit the tree, it's basically smooth sailing to level two all right that's level one done that's not bad that was that was actually pretty impressive i heard rumors of the barrel skip because check you can just do that no 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 no. i get it now i fucking it dude it makes so much sense i was thinking in my head how the hell did the dev beat this game you made a dev route you fucking bastard you made a dev route because you couldn't beat it the normal way i knew it man I knew it! I was like, no way, no way Ponty's doing this! Okay, the speedrun's messing the waterfall up. I first tried the waterfall. Not trying to flex, just mentioning facts. Okay, a little hop skipping up. This section's pretty easy. A little dicey, though. If you if you touch the, the rapid rivers, it kind of jettisons your hand out. Okay, unnecessary shortcut. You could have gone up the yellow sign, but I guess it saved a half second. Hand of God. And section two, basically complete now. You can do a shortcut here, I know. You can skip it. Yeah, he misses it. You can skip to go to the pillar, which is what he wanted to do. And he just grabbed the smooth part of the pillar. Unlucky. This first pillar jump was kind of hard. But I guess doing it now wouldn't be that hard. This part is stressful. But it's not necessarily hard. It's just stressful to... uh go quickly with all the moving gears it took me a little bit yeah especially because that fast gear and then you have to be quick here nice and then this part you also got to be quick well wow, that was very fast damn that was actually that was actually really impressive like actually one cycling i guess you can get a zero cycle with the pillar skip but that was impressive damn just hops to the window hi kids i'm watching a speed run wait where are you going you're supposed to go up the center Oh, you can make that jump. Wow. Okay. This part's scary. There's a safe way to do it and a dangerous way. I wonder if he goes for the safe or the dangerous way. Okay, he's going to go for the safe swing. That makes sense. Yeah. I thought he was going to make a jump for it, but no, I don't think it saves that much time. And then here, you just got to jump to the left. You don't have to grab the tie, and you make it to level four. I find this to be the easiest section because you're literally climbing rock climbing... <laughs> jugs the green holds are fake that's the only caveat but it's not bad and then you have the swing which as long as you hold with two hands shouldn't be too bad oh what wait what the hell okay that was a bit of a shortcut he's just skipping stuff i guess this yeah this little like quarter turn it looks like he's hitting the luddy every time <laughs> but every time he hits the luddy he gets to, like a little boost and he's able to kind of speed run through i find this section to be a little annoying i wonder how he does it quickly because you, you have to kind of seesaw this to gain height. Okay, yeah, so there's no way to, I guess, cheese it. Wow, yeah, he's really building up the speed of it. Oh, that was close. Whew. Wait, that was close. Almost through. Okay. This part I feel like you could do very quick. I actually feel like you could do this part really quick. Because you climb up here. There's not too much of a risk of falling. The biggest question i have is how he does the transfer very fast because you have the transfer on the seesaw oh he just goes for a jump well wow, he just goes for a jump you don't have to do it jumping i did it static he's just a brave dino man and then you get to go sandbag to sandbag like it's a jackie chan movie wow the oh unlucky unlucky oh wow so this speedrun has a lot of time saves 
Yeah, he just forgot to let go. He forgot to let go and the bag dragged him down. So this is the hardest jump for I think most people in this game. I think it's probably the singular hardest section. So I, first trying it would be impressive. He didn't first try. Second try would even be impressive though. Especially for how how short the game's been out. But he he kinda he kinda this is where I learned how to do this kind of cross swing thing. You need controller for this. Uh, maybe I'm crazy, maybe keyboard isn't that bad, but in my mind, I feel like you need controller for all this. These three jumps, they're all kind of the same jump. They're hard. Okay, that was good. It's definitely doable on PC. I just think it's so much easier on controller. Okay, yeah, going for the top of the lantern. Now, this jump's a little scary. I got it first try, but I think I got lucky, to be honest. That that jump would kill a run. I wonder where you go if you fall from here. I don't know if you go right back down to that water stone or you go... I don't... Can you go all the way down from this point? I never had a fall that felt like totally brutal. You know what I actually was missing in this game? Is like uh, riding the snake from getting over it or or the what serpent the from Pogo stuff on? that just brings you to the start. Wait, Clark plays on keyboard mouse? Wait, someone, why did, someone told me he played on controller. Oh, then he's just a beast. All right, nailed that section. This section I actually find to be the most fun in the game and also the easiest. Oh, he goes higher. Wait, are you skipping? Is he skipping to the higher part? Oh, wow. Okay, that's beast. And then here you got to do a little jump and then you have to ride the ice. Yep. Oof, that was scary. That's a tough one to make. I think the next little section here isn't too bad. It's all relatively pain-free. Okay, good. Beasting this shit. He's beasting this shit. Oh, wow. That was actually a really far jump. Ooh, a couple of skips in there. I find this one to be kind of hard. Yeah, whiffs it on the first one. You just need so much distance. But the good news is if you miss it, there's actually a lot of fail safes. I will say Ponty was kind of nice in this section. <laughs> there's either getting over it or Fadian devs who would see this section and be like, yeah, no, by the way, if you fall, you go to the very beginning. Like sometimes they just do that. <laughs> I wonder how he does the final part. Because I find the final part to be th this jump I found to be one of the most frustrating. Uh, This one right here. You got to hold on to this red thing and then swing. He does one hand. And he just beats that. He's actually so good at getting distance. He gets way more distance than me. Holy, he gets so much distance. All right. And now this is the fake ending. Oh, you can just hold on to the... The roof. Okay, that makes so much more sense. I was going to the, the doorway. That's the only hard cloud jump. It's not even that hard because the distance that... Clark gets. Clark's swings are so good. He just has really good, like, momentum building movement and then knows when to release. His release timing is so good. And then you have to climb a V0 and it's over. Wow. What's crazy is this is a very impressive run. He probably could have gotten a sub nine minute run if he just got, like, a few of the skips in a few first tries. Oof. Look at that. That was impressive. Did he hit the gritty at the end there? Or excuse me, did he did he floss? Not the gritty. <laughs> did he floss at the end there? That was beast. All right, my turn. I'll beat it right now. <laughs> We're going to go for our fastest time possible. I think I can get it in sub 30. Da, da, da. Nah, I'm done. Ult at four. I'm done. I'm good. I'm good. I beat the fucking game. It is destroying my brain right now. Coward, Elite YouTube, you have exactly 24 hours to show footage of you beating this game at a faster pace than me. Otherwise, you're permanently banned in the chat and I see you are a member. So I would think it is doubly important for you to get that done. 24 hours starts today. Elite YouTube, one for the eye. Let me write it down so I remember when I go live tomorrow, I will be needing to see that. All you have to do is beat the game. I Look, I'm assuming you would not have said that if you hadn't already done it. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense to me to call somebody a coward for something you yourself cannot do. Sh surely you wouldn't do that. That'd be foolish, right? That'd be stupid. I work all day tomorrow. Well, then just send me the footage of you having already beat it. Give me till Monday. Ah, no. <laughs> no, you got 24 hours, buddy.